Good morning. Happy Sunday to everybody. Yeah, I mean, it was a busy day yesterday. I was so happy to be able to see family and friends at the funeral. And I have to say um, that gun salute at the end, it just takes your breath away. And, you know, 98 years, he'd have been 98 in September. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, what a wonderful celebration and seeing everybody for after a really long time. I love it. <laughs> All right. I want to pull some cards and just say, you know, we're in the Capricorn moon still. I did do a video last night and it's all dark, except you can see that moon and send out energy to help us sleep better. So tonight you can put that on as you're trying to fall asleep. And um, in just, you know, it's OK. Just have it in the background. You don't have to even listen to the music. Literally, those um, frequencies and symbols of Reiki will help um, go in and make you feel relaxed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a card out of the Keepers of the Light. What do we need today? That's Kyle Gray. <laughs> Okay, and we have the card Odin, and that's Insight. Odin, I love it. That's the name of the doggy at my work. <laughs> oh, he hears that and he looks for me. All right, Psychic Insight. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. So let me just see what else is here. And sending out to the third eye. Let's get that a. Uh, let's get that clarity today for Sunday. All right. You're being encouraged to look beyond what your physical eyes are showing you. Look within and follow your intuition or psychic visions. You may want to plan ahead at this time. It's important to keep your mind and energy focused on the best possible outcome. There will be signs and symbols from the light to tell you that you are on the right path. Be aware of winged beings gracing your path as a wink from Odin and the light keepers to say that they are honoring your work. Yes, we have a lot of messages coming in. And if you ask for them, it's even even more so. Walk out the door today and ask what animal can help me the most. Or if you need strength, call on one. Call on the bear. Call on an animal that can help you with better, keener eyesight, seeing the bigger picture. Maybe the eagle or the hawk. <laughs> All right. We've got angel guide with Kyle Gray. Do a little bit of a gray day. I, that's what I call it. It's like, okay, <laughs> he's got so many good cards. All right. What do we need? What do we need? Okay. Forgiveness and understanding. Absolutely. On Sunday. And the people that I've listened to are saying today's a good day for relaxation and a little meditation. So that sounds good. Yeah. She has her hand on her heart. Just really, um, just looks re very serious about it, wanting to get those messages and wanting to, you know, have healing. I'm going to do an inner child healing at the end. Let's see here. So sending out to the heart. I'm wearing green today, calling in and communing with Archangel Raphael to really help us heal our hearts today. As soon as you see the word forgiveness, you'll know where this energy is needed in your life. Forgiveness is a correction to human vision an opportunity to see through the eyes of the soul. And ultimately, it gives us an idea of what it's like to see through the eyes of our angels. Whatever the situation that feels heavy on your heart right now, when this card appears, your angel guide is inviting you to release it. You aren't being asked to accept bad behavior or let it go, but to realize that the only person who's truly being affected by your unforgiving thoughts and feelings is you. You don't deserve to have past events get in the way of present happiness. And that can only happen if you make space by releasing painful experiences from your heart. So call in your angels and ask them to help you step into the energy of forgiveness. Even if you feel you don't know how to forgive, the willingness to do it is the first step. Yeah, I'm just going to send out for a few moments to the heart and Anybody that has someone that they really want to forgive, you know, even including yourself, just relax. Maybe think of their name. Understanding why others have committed certain acts on you, yourself, have made 
or you yourself have made bad decisions isn't always easy. It's important to know that you are always doing the best you can with the information and tools you have, and the more you learn in life, the greater your capacity to make choices from a space of love. When this card shows up for you, it's because angels see you as worthy of fulfilling your exciting experiences. When you're dancing with the energy of forgiveness, you are on the verge of a miracle. This isn't a time to be weighted down by the past, but a time to see beyond it. I'm going to do the heart singing bowl and just uh, really lock this heart um, healing energy in. So it's still just thinking of anybody, including yourself, that needs forgiveness at this time. Here we go. All right, and now let's pull a card out of the soul's truth. I kind of like this little deck, Brianne Hubby. What kind of question can we ponder for today for Sunday? What will help us the most? What am I the most afraid of losing? Of that feather on there. What am I most afraid of losing? All right. And sending out then to our root chakra, keeping us grounded today. As we grow, change and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give your everything to yourself that you need? Today's soul action, name that fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by feeling certain of who you are and where you're going. Today's mantra, I move forward. I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved. I am safe and I belong. Yes, we'll send out to the solar plexus as well, empowering us to be able to do that and really have our um, power back. There's a lot of times that we are afraid of things and then we do it and it's not so bad after all. You know, it's taking a little risk sometimes. Seeing the sun shine right into that empowerment. Oh, and just breathe. <laughs> Little jet lag from traveling yesterday, but I'm telling you, it was well worth it. What a wonderful time. Seeing people that you haven't seen in years and bringing back really wonderful memories. All right. And then bringing the energy down through the crown. Really feeling the messages and love from the divine coming in. And opening your third eye, clarity, what do you need to see the truth in? It's really opening up and seeing the truth down into your throat to speak your truth from your heart, send it to the throat and the heart. Down into your solar plexus. And the sacral creativity. What can we create today when we're not relaxing? <laughs> Sunday fun day, I say. And then down into the root chakra. So many people are still trying to clean up these messes. So I'm going to say, you know, just an extra prayer for everybody. It's just been a really rough time up here. All right. And then cleansing the aura. Yeah, if you can take time out to just move the body a little bit, just cleaning the aura around you, get rid of any negativity, 
and really start your day. First 17 seconds can really make your whole day better. Just really thinking of all positive things and ushering that energy in. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's, uh, let's just do heaven rushing in. Think of what we're grateful for today on Sunday. And breathe. Pulling it into your heart. I'm so grateful for you guys. Have a wonderful day.